man. What what a good sleep. There's nothing like taking down powerful trainers and then breaking into their home and taking a nap in their bed. Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we beat Pokemon Trainer Red. And if you think that's the last thing that you can do in this game, there you've you've got another thing coming. Now, once you beat him, we we can go to Pallet Town and we'll get a chat from Professor Oak. Hello, artist. Good to see you. I heard a lot about you. Your Pokedex must be close to complete, huh? For all your hard work, I'd like to give you something. Haha! -ha! What's behind me? You must have figured it out right away. Yes, it's a Pokemon. Oh? You don't see them very often in Kanto. Choose one and it'll be yours. Go ahead. Alright, so we can choose between... Charmander... We can choose Squirtle. And we can choose Bulbasaur. Alright, so uh, in, in the Fire Red Let's Play, we chose Squirtle. Duh. So, let's choose Charmander. I'm sorry, Jay, for choosing Charmander and betraying you. This Pokemon is really quite energetic. You got the Charmander! Nah. If a wild Pokemon appears, your Pokemon can battle it. With it at your side, you should be able to reach the next town. What am I saying? You all know you already know all this. Ha ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, well cool, we got a Charmander. Let's actually take a look at it. Alright, so we met it in Pallet Town. Duh. All right, so it only knows scratch and growl, so you're gonna have a bit of a tough, a bit of a tough time raising this up unless you use experience share, which I mean we do have. All right, so next up on the docket is uh, stuff. Let's just go to the place we need to go to. In the Silfco building, we can find a certain individual here, Stephen Stone. Hello, you're breaking up. I think it depends on how my dad feels. I see. I'll be on my way. See you soon. You are. I remember your eyes. When I see a when I see a trainer whose eyes twinkle, I always remember. You have a Pokedex, so you are also in search of Pokemon. Let me see. I think I can help you with that. Let's say you have stones in front of you. Which color would you pick? Hmm, normally I would go with red or blue, but let's let's see what happens when we choose the green stone. You chose correctly. I will give you Trico. Oh, and you get a Trico. Would you like to give this? Nah. Take good care of it. Your caring for it will make me very happy. All right, cool. Well, now we have a Trico as well. Same thing with the the Kanto starter. Whichever Hoenn starter you choose will be level 5. Cool, we got two starter Pokemon in this episode already. We're not even five minutes in. All right, but there is l plenty more to do. So let's go around and find stuff to do. While we're in Saffron City, we can go to the train station, and Lieutenant Surge will be here after you rematch him. Oh, I never expected to see you here in a place like this. What a coincidence. I can feel great electric power around the Magnet train station. You had a Pikachu, didn't you? How about trading it for my French Pikachu? <laughs> okay. Wow, electrifying. Let's trade him now. Okay, here's the Pikachu. Pikachu will be sent to Surge. Bye-bye, Pikachu.
Surge sent out, uh, sent over Bolty. Take good care of Bolty. Cool. Yeah, I'm I'm so ecstatic. I'll see you around. Goodbye. And then it goes back to the gym. So yeah, once again, you can only do that trade one uh, once you've rebattled him, which is neat. Oh, he has a yellow shard. Huh. Cool. All right, now something dumb. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it's dumb because you need you need to come back to Pewter before you can do this next thing. Stephen Stone will be here. All those shining stars at night are the stones I'll never get to know. Wait, is that all? I thought he th I thought he had more dialogue than that. And Stephen Stone will be here after that little one line of dialogue. I know it's it's really weird and dumb that you have to go to Pewter City and have that one little dialogue and then he'll be back here. We meet again. Have you been to Hoenn before? No, I have not. It's such a beautiful place with the clearest ocean you can imagine. You should visit sometime. Hey, why don't we trade Pokemon? I've been looking for Fortress. I can trade my Beldum for it. Sure. Okay, here's a Fortress. Okay, let's trade. Yeah, here you go, dude. Bye-bye, Fortress. Steven sent over Iron. Take good care of Iron. I fast forwarded through the trade because uh, we already saw a trade this episode and we're going to be seeing more. You don't see Fortress in the Hoenn region. It's my first time to actually see one. Thank you so much. Oh, look at the time. I really must go. Okay, see ya. Perry, what? Sup, this is Perry. I am on Onyx and we battled a Graveler. Bye. <laughs> Jeez. Sometimes these these random trainer battles. What do you think about these phone calls, Iron? Iron is wandering around. Okay, well. All right, so we are here in the daycare center to drop off a couple Pokemon because we actually need another one for another trade. So we're going to drop off Phony Tree. And we are going to be dropping off Onyx, or Rocky, because they're in the same egg group and stuff. All right, so now we just need to wait for them a bit. Meanwhile, we're going to be doing a different trade, and I'm actually... <laughs> uh, this is going to sound dumb, but I'm actually going to run all the way there. Because we need to ha wait for this. Uh, well, actually, do I need to get the phone number first? Hello. No? Okay. Anyways, we're going to be bike riding all the way to our next destination. Which was going to take a while. Because uh, I need to burn some time to get them to make an egg. Oh, the daycare man. Hello. Hello, it's me, the daycare man. We were raising your Pokemon, and my goodness, we were surprised. Your Pokemon was holding an egg. We don't know how it got there, but your Pokemon had it. I bet you'd like to find out what kind of egg it is, right? You should come get it. Okay, well, I'll come get it in a in a moment, because we're almost to our next destination anyways. In Olivine City. Long time no see. Um, I'm fine, thank you. I don't know how to say this, but... Uh, nothing. No, 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 what's up? Um, er... Will you trade your Pokemon for mine? Sure. I have one that <laughs> I have one that I've been wanting to get rid of. 
Thank you very much. I'll be happy with any Pokemon. <laughs> I'm going to be trading you dumb. Because I've been wanting to get rid of this thing from day one. Will you trade dumb? Yes. Bye-bye, dumb. Jasmine sent over Rusty. Take good care of Rusty. So yeah, you can trade any Pokemon. It doesn't matter what it is. She'll take it. Thank you so much. I'll take good care of it. Have fun with your dumb jump luff. Now, I feel a little bad trading Jasmine that jump luff because it's such a bad Pokemon, but <laughs> I I want I, I I just thought it would be funny and I really don't like jump luff in the whole family. Ah, it's you. We were raising your Pokemon and my goodness, we were surprised. Your Pokemon was holding an egg. We don't know how it got there, but your Pokemon had it. You do want it, don't you? Yes. Yeah, we got an egg. Take good care of it. That is, I don't think we'll ever find another. No, no, I'm sure we'll find another one. I'm definitely sure of it. Artist, if we were looking after your Pokemon and noticed one is holding an egg, would you like... What? Yeah, you already contacted me. About the first egg. Okay. Anyways, let's get our Pokemon out. All right, so this egg does not seem close to hatching. So we're going to have a Pokemon in our party that'll speed it up since we just got the egg. Slugma, it has the ability Flame Body, which will speed up the hatching progress or process by quite a bit. I believe by half? It might be more, it might be less. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's get to hatching this egg. I'll see you in a few minutes. Oh. Bonsly hatched from the egg. Now you can only get Bonsly from breeding Sudowoodo while it's holding an item called the Rock Incense. And some of you might have been able to piece that together if you saw for a split second. Oh, Sudowoodo is holding a Rock Incense. I wonder why that is. That's why. Because I needed to get Pseudo or to get Bonsly, so that I can come here on Saturdays between uh, what are the times? Between the hours of 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. on Saturdays. It's really weird, but Brock can only be found here during those times, and that's the only time when he'll trade for some dumb reason, whatever. Hi, artist. Have you seen a Pokemon called Bonsly? They say you can get it from an egg. I'm having a hard time finding one. If you happen to have a Bonsly, you, can you trade it for my Rhyhorn? Sure. All right, let's trade. Okay, here's your Bonsly. Rhyhorn. Brock sent over Hornlet. Take good care of Hornlet. Weird name. Thank you. I've been looking for a Bonsly. That Rhyhorn I gave you knows the move Thunderfang. I traded it. I bleh, I trained it from an egg. I'm so proud of it because it can take it down water type Pokemon, which usually are a tough matchup. Take good care of it for me. Okay, Brock. All right. So we are in Cherry Grove City just to grab one more thing uh we need to go see mr pokemon spoilers hello hi artists i have something i want to get uh i have something i want you to have and was just about to send an email to professor oak for some reason that was a really hard thing to say what uh, what in the world the thing is a friend of mine from hoenn came over to give me uh, to give this to me. Artis obtained the red orb. That orb has something to do with the ancient ruins located past Sienwood City called the Embedded Tower. But only a handful of trainers can reach there. 
That's where you come in. Professor Oak thinks highly of you, and you are a the proud champion after all. I'm sure you can solve the mystery of the orb and the secret of the ruins. Well, I think we have... I think, I think we can do that, but it'll have to be next time. Now, I am going to say quickly that uh, next episode is actually going to be another live-streamed episode. Because circumstances and stuff. Oh, wow. Time change. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time over on twitch.tv slash rds150. Plugs and stuff. Links in the description and stuff. I'll see you later. It's good to see you again, but I never expected to see you around here. Could it be that you're on the way to the Embedded Tower? The Embedded Tower is a huge tower piercing the sky. It is said to have something to do with the mythical Pokémon that stretched the seas and that Pokémon that widened the lands. But the tower is no longer standing. The way the, to the Embedded Tower is harder than you can imagine. You need Rock Climb as well as Surf. I see. So you've defeated all the gym leaders in Kanto as well. And there's nothing to worry about. Believe in yourself and walk your path. Yaha! Okay. <laughs>